Writing, writing, writing. Dave, send the actors down for their season one evaluations. Hi, I'm Dan Harmon. I created NBC's Community. Community's had its ups and downs this year. Its ups were the nights we followed the office and people left their TVs on by accident. Its downs were the rest of the season. But within those downs, what are the reasons why we fluctuate? What are the reasons for our victories and failures? Well, we're going to find that out through a series of cast evaluations thank you so much for uh no for problem. coming in no problem it's the end of the season and it's been a successful season very and successful let's talk about uh your relationships with the other cast and this is not going to leave this room i just this is just uh, an aid I for allison. me to use you hate allison. hate allison what is it about her that's bugging you she's a girl that doesn't help i believe that all people should be men eventually wait you're that girl that got hooked on pills and then dropped out. <laughs> You're little Annie Adderall. Let's talk about some of the others. Okay. Joel. Great. Uh, great. Guy. Gillian. Room for improvement there. Room for improvement. Due to gender. Mm -hmm. Chevy. Dude. Fine. Danny. Dude. Yvette. I'm not sure. I am simply asking a few questions of each of you guys, and this, it doesn't leave this room, your responses. Okay. Uh, it, That's it, why the cameras are here? Yeah, well, we may put it on the first season DVD. Ah. Oh, as you may have noticed this morning, I'm not really good at small talk. Let's just talk about the fact that Donald has a problem with you. Mm -hmm. um, you and Allison in particular, he didn't get much more specific than the fact that you were women. Yeah. Would you care to comment on it at all? Well, I, abusive is a word that comes to mind. On his end? Yes. Racist, because... He's racist. Well, you noticed that he didn't say Yvette. You said women, but he only said the two white women in the cast. I think he might think that she's a man. Being younger does not make me inferior. If anything, your age indicates that you've made bad life decisions. The uh, character is uh, is different from you. How? Obviously, she's a little more buttoned up. Yes. You've been on the internet uh, doing all kinds of outlandishly uh, sexualized shenanigans. Yeah, you really don't like that. No, I do. <laughs> you really don't. I'm fine with it. You want me to be Annie all the time, but let me tell you, Dan Harmon, I'm an actor. Do you mind, as a doctor, if we could quickly go sure. through your castmates? Yeah. And again, this doesn't get back to them in any way, but no. I could use your it's help as much as anybody's. Yeah. Is that Nicole Brown? I don't know, she may have lupus. She may have it now. The prodromal symptoms tend to manifest in, in the hair, and I've noticed that her hair is growing a little bit. So when the hair grows, yeah, that's, the, she could be dying. Yeah, I just worry, she, her hair's been more frizzy throughout right. the season, and then she developed a cough. You're, do you remember your audition? Do you remember getting the part? Do you remember those, those I days? I do remember my audition. Well, I'm, uh, I'm sure I've made some bad life decisions. So it was me, you, and Deva. And I auditioned for you, and you said to me, can I show you to my friends? That was the first thing you said to me. And I was like, sure. And then you called them in, and that was my audition. And you had a soft spot in my heart because of that. I thought that was really sweet. Ken thinks you have lupus. Let's talk about the weaknesses on your part, uh, which are? Um, let's see here, weight. I know that's an issue. Oh. Well, I only talked to her once while she was borrowing a pencil. Um, but her name is Britta. Um, she's 28, uh, birthday in October. She has two older brothers. Um, one of her brothers works with children who have a disorder that I might want to look up. You know, it's one of those things where I have a thyroid problem. I don't know if that's listed anywhere. So I'll just that's... write down the word thyroid. Great. I can't really do anything about that. Um, what I can do is suggest you eat a sandwich. We had a 7.89 rating in the beginning. No, that's millions of households. That's true? Yeah, and then down to, yeah. Where am I naked? Episode 17, this is where you're naked. I for... see, okay. Well, I feel like, oh, that's the and Catherine... And the response to your naked ass... Was that? A low point of wow. the whole year. People running from their television. I have a different theory. It, I feel like this tracks your physical hygiene. If you think about it, you started out the year almost looking like you do now. Then the second episode hit because you were like, huge deal. That's when the beard started growing. That is when you began wearing shirts that looked like you stripped them off a drifter's corpse. 
and smelled that way. I want you to level this amount of scrutiny also, if you can, on your castmates. Right. Because, you know, we can make improvements for next year. Well, um, let's go through cast member by cast member, if you don't mind. Chevy, Chase. As I've said in other interviews, it's, I'm thrilled he's alive. And I think room for improvement on Chevy is he needs to stop analyzing the script so much. Mm -hmm. He needs to stop reading them. He really them. overthinks it. He memorizes everyone's parts. Yeah. Was it my line? I forgot the line. What's the line you wanted me to do? What are we doing? Your line. Oh, you forgot the fucking line, all right? <laughs> I knew the line before. Well, I think you ought to lose that line. You didn't even read his line right. Oh, you, did you say it? Yeah, I'm, I'm the stupid one. I didn't even one. know you were here. I'll get it this time. Ready? Get back to your places, all of you. Uh, how's it going with the, with the others? Uh, well, you know, I don't know, really. Uh, I don't pay much attention to them, but uh, <clears throat> it seems to me that uh, they're all pretty good. I don't think that Joel carries it, really. Uh, I think that may be the, the, weak, the weak area. Problems with him. So, so going into a second season? I would replace Joel. Okay. Yeah. We've been trying to use you guys in different combinations. Is there, any, is there anybody that you've enjoyed working with more than others? Well, yeah, yeah, I'd have to say uh, I liked very much working with Marty Short and Steve, Steve Martin. Uh, I've got a big red check next to Allison and Gillian. Yeah. Um, uh, Chevy, though, fine, not, not at all. You, you guys are getting along. No, that guy's a uh, Probably times. like the least racist guy. To a fault. To right. the fault where it's just like, oh, let's go, to, let's go get some Chinese food, and he'll just walk into a Burger King. Right, because he be like, can't even he tell can't the difference. He can't even tell the difference. Like, it's just like, <laughs> and it's just like, hey, man, this is, these are burgers. And he's like, I didn't notice. And you're just like, god damn. I look at this chart of our ratings, and I see, uh, you know, a potential uh, for success. I don't see obvious failure. With Aldrich, I don't mean to sound defensive, but I'm being a little defensive. That, that was not my fault for the 4-7 the on 18 to. Well, this certainly wasn't your fault. You weren't in this episode. That was, uh, you joined us here. Well, I'll tell you why I teach Spanish. It is none of your business, okay? And I don't want to have any conversations about what a mysterious, inscrutable man I am. <laughs> In the pilot, you're supposedly this honest, mm -hmm. noble-hearted, mm -hmm. conscientious kind of uh, character. Mm -hmm. are, yeah. are we peeling back layers or are we changing the character? A little bit of both, I think. As we peel back these layers, we're mm -hmm. Wrong answer. I gave the wrong answer. Is she becoming more like you, the actor? I am, I think, sillier than Britta. I had to put you on the spot because yeah. I see some of the silliness. Oh, sure. Yeah, like, uh, it's like Just like, whoa. There's a little, <laughs> Gillian and I had that scene together. It was late at night, and, and I looked in her eyes, and even when she wasn't on camera, she gave me so much emotion. Like, I felt Britta feeling for Shirley. You know what the crazy thing is, Britta? Everything you've done tonight. <laughs> so there was no way that I couldn't rise to the occasion for her when she was giving me so much off camera, and a lot of actors don't do that. She's amazing in that natural way. Amazing. If you're doing a natural scene with her, it's you. It's 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 perfect. She makes you better. And then as soon as she tries to do a joke, it's every, not true. Everything crumbles. She is a delightful. You know what it is? This is what I think has not happened with Gillian. I don't think people know how goofy she is. And now that the shows are starting to go more in how goofy she is, I think her comedic talent in that area is about to really go wow. I know you've told me you don't watch the show on television. No, I don't have a television. And, you, and then you assert that that is not an attempt to impress me. This is honest truth. People who I speak with who are my friends back east say that the show is getting progressively better. Every show. We, we, and, 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 and these are people I really, and now I'm being serious, these are people I really trust who, are, who have great uh, comic sensibilities who, and perspective. Who said, who's saying? Famous people? No, nobody famous. Uh, uh, just people that you admire. Yeah, for, for good taste. friends, uh, yeah. Alan well, Robles? actually, some of them are, are, are famous. Harold Ramis? Harold Ramis is famous. <laughs> um, all right, well. Uh, we got to wrap it up? Yeah, I, I, would you like to come back for another year? Um. Obviously, if you'd like to, I think we have a position for you next year. Um, it's been a pleasure to work with you oh, this year. Oh, again, you You're one too. of my favorites, secretly. You're, you're coming back for season two. I can tell you that right now. 
people are very happy with you. Yeah. Uh, I just want to make sure that you're happy. Is there, is I'm there, very happy. I've never had a, a more time taken away from my life. I want to try to find more things to do with your character in season two. I think one of the biggest crimes I did this year is uh, is underutilize you. I think you're uh, the most talented guy on the cast, and I'm, I can't tell that to any of the others because they're they're, I mean, the same thing that makes them untalented makes them insecure. You know, I understand that it's this way uh, in the first year, and, and of course next year, uh, if I show up, uh, things will be, probably go quicker, people are used to each other, and uh, again, with Joel uh, out, I think things will move faster. All right, fine, well, thank you so much for... Uh, Pleasure was all mine, Patrick. Yeah. Thank you. My name's Dan. Dan. Very good. Thanks for coming in. Mm -hmm. And thank the others as well. Well, <laughs> that was very eye-opening. I hope you enjoyed it. Dave, could you please cancel the show? Give me some more.